Let's bring in Fox News contributor and the Washington Times opinion editor, Charlie Hurt, along with host of the Ben Ferguson show and verdict with Ted Cruz, co-host Ben Ferguson. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. Charlie Hurt, I'm going to shut up. What do you say, dear sir? <laughs> Well, I got to say, you know, if you'd have told me 20 Thank years ago when I was covering the John Kerry campaign that in two decades, Republicans would offload Dick Cheney and their thirst for war, I would tell you, and then, and then turn around and become the party of middle class where you have a, a Republican candidate slinging fries at a McDonald's two weeks before an election. First of all, I'd have told you you were crazy. Second of all, I would have said, that is an unstoppable party. And, uh, it, I, you know, it's extraordinary to watch Democrats come apart at the seams about this. They can't believe it. Um, I, I'm still amazed that uh, Kamala Harris would, would rather campaign with Dick Cheney's successor, his daughter, than campaign with Joe Biden. Not that I blame her, but, man, that's pretty rough. Um, it's, uh, you know, you know, obviously... Uh, it's just they've they, they're been left with nothing. They have to defend their own record over the past three years. They have nothing. And so all they're left with is hatred, hatred of this one man. No matter what he does, they're going to trash him. I think we're having some uh, tech problems with Ben Ferguson. So I'm going to come back to you, Charlie. It's interesting that Liz Cheney breaks down this analysis of Donald Trump and says, we are going to stand up for the Constitution like Donald Trump doesn't. These are the people that gave you Russia collusion, fake and false. Uh, they tried to kick him off the ballot, Donald Trump, took him for a half a billion dollars, prosecuted him. Um, the list goes on and on, impeach him twice. This is rich. I don't know that any American buys their constitution and threats to democracy. When we've all watched for four years how Democrats behave and how they've actually trashed democracy and trashed the constitution. And, of course, uh, the only people that do believe them or pretend to believe them is the media because they're right. so desperate for... Uh, for, for Democrats to win because they are basically an extension of the Democrat Party. Um, and so, uh, you know, but you're exactly right. I don't think normal Americans believe it. Um, uh, I think that, uh, you know, and of course, another example that I that just comes to mind that you, you didn't m mention in that list of that good list of, of examples is, uh, you know, the student loan for student loan forgiveness in which they're forcing people who work at McDonald's to pay for the tuitions of uh, entitled privileged college kids who got underwater basket weaving degrees from elite universities like Harvard. Um, that, that's what, that, you know, and, and even though the Supreme Court told them, this is, you know, you can't do this, this is against the Constitution, they, not only are they continuing to do it, they're saying, mm -hmm. they're, they're admitting that they're doing it despite the pro prohibition by the Supreme Court. So that right there tells you all you need to know about their contempt for the Constitution. Uh, those are actually doctors and lawyers who've gotten six figures in debt forgiven, who make deep into the six figures, who don't need student loan forgiveness, and who people who don't have any student loan debt have now bearing the burden of that. Uh, ben, you know, the Democrats are the party of priggish yeah. elites who only denigrate and castigate the rest of us, not just Donald Trump. And, it, and inflict pain upon the rest of us just to accumulate power and, and preserve it. And look no further than this lady as um, looking down upon the rest of us. Listen to this from over the weekend. This is how a bad saves democracy. You couldn't even spell democracy. Ha! Nothing says eat my heels like walking <laughs> up the stairs of a private mm. jet, Ben Ferguson, while the former the, president I, I, was serving up fries in a McDonald's. Yeah. I, I'm not kidding. If, like, you infiltrated Kamala Harris's campaign and you were there on purpose to try to ruin her last two weeks of campaign, I don't think I could even come up with this stuff. Like, I'm not joking, because I would write this type of script. I would hope I was good enough to be like, hey, Let's get Lizzo cussing out half the country and then doing a little twirl and getting on a private jet. That'll alienate voters that are suffering right now. And then we'll immediately have her get off that plane, go up on stage, and then say, hey, America, 
vote for this woman. She's an elitist like me. I couldn't write that any better. And then to have Donald Trump doing what he's doing at McDonald's. And the best part is it forced the media to do their job. It didn't make sense why Donald Trump was there without telling the story that he is trolling the, the media, not covering the fact that Kamala Harris didn't work at McDonald's and lied to the American people about it. And they act like they're upset about it, like, oh, well, this is a photo op. It actually wasn't. Donald Trump wanted to show two things. One, you guys are state-sponsored media. You're liars and scumbags, and you're not doing your job. And two, I'm actually willing to go work at a place that Kamala Harris is not willing to go. And the people that worked there, you could tell, loved having him there. The people outside loved him being there. The people in the drive through loved him being there. So whether it's a Pittsburgh Steelers game, whether it's McDonald's, Donald Trump is connecting with people that right now are living paycheck to paycheck. And they're also, at the same time, he was able to score points with, oh, and by the way, Kamala Harris lies to you. She acts like she's like you, but really she's just like Lizzo, getting on a private plane, thinking you're beneath her. You go buy the mandates on the electric vehicles in the future, but I'm getting on my private jet. You couldn't have written a better script to connect with the American people. No doubt. Charlie Hurt, Ben Ferguson, good to see you both. Thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. Good to be here. Great to see you.